Hello, <coughs> try that again. Hello, and uh, right here we go with attempt two at reaching uh, Rigel. And like I was saying yesterday, if it goes well, I'll see if I can then carry on going and get from Rigel to Vy Canis Majoris. Um, now, as you can see. I did manage to get back to uh, Imperial Space. I'm in the old favourite of Nahet. And I have uh, got uh, the Asp sitting here. Which I've kitted out um, pretty close to ideal for exploring as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so this is how she looks. I figured that I am going to need, uh, you know, some kind of uh, firepower. I'm going to be able to, you know, need to defend myself. So we have uh, four burst lasers in the small hard points, two medium cannons there in the mediums. And as far as utility mounts go, we have uh, the chapel on the point defense, and two rate A-rated uh, shield boosters. Uh, with the internals, uh, power plant is A, frame shift drive is obviously A, power distributor is A. Uh, everything else uh, is D to save on mass, so the thrusters, the life support sensors, and the shield generator. Um, I've got the best fuel scoop I could uh, well find within reason. I put a B5 on. The A5 was just too expensive, it was uh, over 9 million, so I figured, right, I'm not going to bother with that, so the B5 went on in its place. Um, I got a small amount of uh, cargo capacity on this thing, 24 tonnes, and then of course the advanced and detailed uh, surface scanners. And yes, I have a uh, as paint job, which I got quite a while ago actually, but I've not had the chance to use until now. So, um, the actual trip, there, it's already laid in. Only 32 jumps to Rigel. That's less than half the number of jumps it was going to take in the Anaconda. Now this has good points and bad points. The good points are obvious, it will take me uh, a lot less time to get there. The bad points are there will be fewer systems that I'm scanning on the way. So I'm not going to make quite as much. But, uh, well, I should still make a decent amount. I mean, 31 jumps, or 32 in total, to get there, then however many more it is to get from, uh, you know, from there to... VY Canis Majoris and then however many jumps it is to get back to, well, populated space anyway. So, well, yeah, I mean it could work, it should work. Uh, we bring up the uh, map. We'll see that uh, Rigel is 818.45 light years away. So, that's quite a distance to cover. And uh, better news for me is the fact that uh, after kitting out the ASP in this way, I still have 16.6 .6 million. So not only have I got the rebuy cost of this thing covered, easily covered, I can buy this thing back 19 times, but I also still have enough to cover the uh, Anaconda, which is now in storage in this system, in this docking station in fact. So let's get underway. Obviously, I am not uh, taking any cargo with me, but I can now scoop uh, cargo if 
I find any. And I can land at a uh, outpost if I decide I want to sell it. So it works out okay. Now this ship is a lot more uh, maneuverable than I am used to. So <coughs> I am taking it easy when it comes to uh, exiting the uh, docking station. Now that we're out, our first uh, system is 29.2 light years and still within the hyperspace range. That certainly never happened when I had the Anaconda. I couldn't even do half that. Right, here we go. Frameship drive charging. It's going to be a while before I come across any systems that are, uh, well, that will need uh, scanning. <coughs> fuel scooping complete. And the old uh, Class 5 fuel scoop is uh, certainly uh, doing the business. It's. Uh, Refueling at a uh, fair old rate, which I'm more than pleased about. So after this jump, I've already covered over 55 light years in two jumps. It's becoming very clear exactly why the uh, ASP is the uh, explorer's uh, ship of choice. Alright, here we go. Frameship drive charging. does not need scanning either. So, so far I haven't made anything. No less, I think I should get my uh... Oh, right. I've got some fucker interdicting me, eh? Run. 
seeing why I chose to uh, arm this ship. I had a feeling that interdictions were possible. They were far more likely to happen than they were if I'd gone there in my uh, anaconda. I am making a fucking meal of this. Primarily because I'm not used to fighting in smaller ships like uh, the Asp. Well, I mean, it's not like the Asp is a small ship, but uh, it is smaller than I'm used to. Anyway, that's it done. Target destroyed. Doesn't seem like very much for all that. Still. I wasn't going to be making anything for this system and I'm not making anything for the next one so I guess that helps to uh... I'm not going to bother scooping the uh, cargo there Right, um, here we go Frameship drive charging takes me to higher space now, I've already forgotten if it needs bloody uh, scanning or not. I think I'm going in a bit too quickly here. Fuel oh. Now this next system does need scanning, so at last I've got uh, somewhere to scan. Fuel scoop disengaged. journey uh, on on this uh, video is it, going to be broken up like uh, all the other exploration ones Sometime today would be nice. It's not even peering on the fucking uh, last. So the next system is Chanyaya. Disengaged. It's another one that doesn't need scanning. 
it hasn't been a very profitable start. Anyway, I'm going to pause the video here and uh, we'll uh, come back when there's something to come back to. Right, well, <coughs> just arrived in uh, this system here. And uh, yeah, these two suns are seriously bloody close together. I'm hoping I can uh, shield scoot from them. Yes. Fuck for that. Because the last system. Don't tell me I've got a. Yeah, I've got a fucking use of discovery scanner. It's right in front of me for fuck's sake. And there's another star out here as well. I suspect that one's going to be a lot further away. but it's still well within the uh, range. closest I've ever seen uh, two stars together <coughs> well certainly for a while if not ever oh, there you go right um, more when there's something worth showing well this one caught me a bit by surprise um, this star is pretty bloody big 275 light seconds away and there it is <laughs> I was not expecting that at all so 54 Eridani is a uh, red giant okay it's nowhere near as big as uh, the likes of you know Beetlejuice and Antares but uh, still a fair old size if I'm you know <coughs> 270 odd light seconds away from it and that's the size of it oh, I need to be careful when approaching red giants because uh, oh, so this is one that has no uh, nothing else in there. Anyway, yeah, you got to be careful when approaching these because the uh, heat level can go up and as you get closer the ship does start to get a bit more difficult to control. Why do I say that? I've had trouble controlling this ship from the moment I bought it. I'm so used to the bigger uh, ships that this thing is extremely well, twitchy and what have you. I'm not too good at piloting this thing. So there you go, uh, a bit of an unexpected bonus I guess. Probably won't get much for it, but... Oh. It's another discovery, and this time it really is quite a discovery because I did know nothing about it. Okay, uh, well, um, almost ready to go off to the next one. Now we are ready. Drive charging. I have a feeling Sanoif MS-R B37-1 won't have quite as much, uh, or, well, no, it will have more, but it uh, won't be quite as impressive Three, as uh, here. Two, one, The 
stars were normal. Looks like just yet another red dwarf. Fuel scooping. Yeah, it is just a boring old red dwarf. No other suns in this system, so that's a quick one. On to the next one. We're already down to just 20 jumps. Let's have a look how far we have to go in terms of distance. It's down to 488, so I've already covered well over 300. It feels like I haven't been going that long, actually. Okay, uh, well, more when it happens. Right. <coughs> well, I am uh, approaching... Sunoif PV G B29 0. But that nebula up ahead, which I believe is the Witch's Head Nebula, is becoming very prominent and very large. I think I may be flying right through it. Uh, which could be interesting. Could make for some decent screenshots. On the other hand, I could end up just going past it. But, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely getting uh, closer uh, with each jump. So who knows where I'm going to end up? Uh, I'm now only 13 jumps away. Uh, if we check the galaxy map, let's see uh, what the distance is. Three hundred and five. So, ah, oh, and here we have which head uh, sector. So, yeah, maybe I am going to be going right through it, or maybe not, because there it is. There. So, oh well, uh, we'll see. It doesn't look like I will, but. It could be looming quite large by the time I uh, get there. Frameship drive charging. Well, not too long to go, at least not as far as jumps go. far for me to be bothered. Right, uh, more when it happens. Complete. <coughs> right, um, well, I'm getting pretty bleak close to it. I'm only five jumps away. And that nebula in the background is getting larger and larger. Now, the fact that I'm only four jumps away from Rigel tells me I'm not going to be flying through it. Or at least not here. If... Uh, uh, VY Canis Majoris is still on this same uh, course, then... I may well do... Uh, you know, may well be going through it then. But, 
so I must be, it does look quite impressive. And these two parts, uh, they must be obviously two different nebula. This part's getting further and further away, but it's also getting a lot larger faster than this part. So, this one with the, the mostly blue is clearly the, the closer of the two. Friendship drive charging. Anyway, we have four more jumps to go after this one. Uh, be interesting to see how the nebula looks then. I'm more interested in that than I am in actually see what the uh, Rise of Star is like. Okay, um, well, more in a few. Okay, so I'm now into the witch head sectors. You can see the uh, nebula there are both now extremely prominent. They do look quite impressive. But there's also this very bright star here that's catching my attention. I have a feeling that is Rigel. Um, after this jump, to uh, which head sector HM-VC2-3 after that is the jump to Rigel so I have a feeling that uh, that very bright star there is it so well, here we go that is it yeah but it's 36,000 light seconds away so I'm not gonna fucking explore it right Rigel is next as you can see there aren't a huge amount of uh, systems that I can go to from here there isn't a great deal in this region now at the moment I'm very close to the Sun There's no, no surprise, so you can't see the uh, the nebula very well. We have to uh, get a bit further away from it, and then they start coming into view. Just make out part of it there. It's part of that very prominent blue uh, region. And there's the other bit. Now I suspect in Rigel it, they're going to be quite difficult to see because uh, the light that that sun gives off, unsurprisingly, is immense. It does indeed look as though that very bright star that I pointed out in the last system was Rigel. Right, here we go, let's see uh, what we uh, find here. Now so far every uh, uh, system I've been to with a supergiant has been quite a surprise as the Rigel continues that trend. Um, 
Yes, it does. That can't be the main star here, surely. I mean, okay, 16.5 is a fair old distance, but uh, nothing like as far as I was expecting to be. There's one more object here. Uh, so that's a blue-white star. That's a much bigger blue-white star. It's 10,000, it's already scanning. That's the big one, surely. We're not like, surely about it, of course it fucking is. Yeah, that's it. A blue supergiant. Uh, let's have a look where it appears in the system map. So there we go. So Rigel B, which has the greater uh, gravitational field, but uh, this is the big one out here. Okay, finished uh, fuel scooping. Let's go and have a closer look at this. Now we're not going to have a hope in hell of seeing the uh, nebula from here. Fuel scoop disengaged. But I can live with that. Now Rigel won't stay this way forever. It's actually in the process of becoming a red supergiant, just like Antares and Beetlejuice. Uh, the blue uh, supergiant stars are uh, in the process of beginning that expansion because they are starting to exhaust the uh, fuel inside, you know, the, uh, the helium and hydrogen fuel that they have. And of course, I mean, there is one possible exception to this, and that's the star, the Esteradus uh, star that I wanted to see because in the Magellanic Clouds and although they are neighbouring uh, I guess if you like uh, they're sort of like sub-galaxies if you like they're very close to the Milky Way but uh, <laughs> opinion is somewhat divided. Technically you could say they are part of the Milky Way and yet there's also a lot of compelling evidence to say no they're not. They're separate galaxies in their own right and of course the Frontier Developments have decided to uh, take the easy way out and say oh no they're not part of the Milky Way therefore we're not putting them in. So annoyingly Esteralis is not in the game. And that you know, could have looked quite uh, spectacular, I think. Because it's, it's far more uh, prominent blue colour than, than this. I mean, you can clearly see the blue uh, from it. But uh, Esteradus has a much, um, well, bluer look to it. It's not just this blue sheen coming off the star that seems to be predominantly white. I mean, the thing is blue. It's unlike any star we've, we've seen anywhere else. It, it, it's unique. And that's why I was so uh, particularly keen to see it. I mean, I have to say, for a supergiant, it is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I and mean, don't get me wrong, it's not fucking small by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, look at the size of it, and we're still 1,500 light seconds away. I think now will probably be a good time to slow down. Don't really want to be plunging into a uh, blue supergiant at 26 times the speed of light. And whoever sent that friend request better let me know who you are in the uh, comments of the uh, video. Otherwise I'm not going to accept it. Now, 
coming up to 400 light seconds away from it still. And look at the fucking size of the thing. <laughs> So yeah, that's a uh, that's um well yeah, it certainly deserves its name as uh, a blue super giant, that's for sure. So there you go, there is uh, Rigel. Now, a weak signal source out here. Fuck you now. Well, there's no heat problems. Let's have a look at it. technical blueprints all the way out here now the trouble is if I pick them up that's going to be seen as dodgy cargo I'm going to uh, have to land on a uh, an outpost if I pick them up Majoris is from here. One thousand two hundred and thirty two. The question is, can I actually get there from here? Because this area of space is very sparsely uh, filled. Still seen the hat with the old, uh, me old, uh, anaconda in it. Uh, fuck you know what a name to have to try and remember when it comes to uh, setting off again. course let's see if it can plot the course it fucking can right well, I've got to make a note of this so get there and then from there surely I can get to uh, Canis Majoris so let's see how many jumps is that 40 Still quite an impressive uh, sight, so uh, 
Yeah, it's not bad. So, um, right, on to, uh, YV Canis Majoris. This could be a real task. Fuel scooping. So, um, yeah, more when it happens, I guess. Right, well, we are in column 70, sector SJ-E, B42-0. We are about to head to column 70, sector PD-G, B41-1, of course. But, number of jumps is now, well, 33 to get to the uh, uh, system that I had selected. And that's the number of jumps that I had to make from the head to Rigel. So, uh, it's something of a milestone. Speak the milestone, so I'm now up to 655 systems visited. Um, surely I'm going to pass the 4 million in profits from exploration after this trip. We'll put it this way, I fucking better. <laughs> Right, uh, well, more when it happens. Okay, update. <coughs> uh, heading towards uh, column 70, sector QX dash H B 40 dash 0. But I am now in range of uh, VY Canis Majoris, well, insofar as it's within 1000 light years, so I could now plot the course directly to it, which is just as well, because I need a break from this for a bit. <laughs> um, so, uh, 39 jumps to get there. Well, at least we're well over halfway. Alright, um, well, you know the drill by now, more when it happens. In the meantime, the old uh, nebula, which is now looming quite large. Okay, so anyway, uh, yes, more when it happens. Right, I'm back. And, uh... It's actually been a couple of hours since uh, I really did very much. I've only been to uh, two systems since uh, that last se segment that I recorded. And as you can see, there aren't an awful lot of systems out here now. That's everything available to me. And you've also seen that this system has a brown dwarf so uh, no uh, fuel scooping from here but I have 37 jumps to go to get to uh, Canis Majoris and I have now been to how many? 661 I've no idea how many level 2 detail scans I've done now. It must surely be around 1100. Friendship drive charging. Oh, we'll uh, keep plugging away. We've still got a long way to go. Not only to get there, but then of course we have the almighty fucking journey to get back. Oh, I 
should be able to sco scoop from here. Yeah. I thought that was going to be his famous last words and it was going to be another tower tower star and I wouldn't be able to scoop from it. 28 objects, none of them are stars, so this is the only one that I'll uh, scan here. So, uh, right, well, uh, another update come along when uh, there's something worth updating you with. Well, this system is a bit of an unusual one. Um, uh, there you can see the star that I was scooping from. And it seems as though this brown dwarf is orbiting it very closely. There are no shortage of brown dwarf stars quite close by. But that's not a brown dwarf. So, yeah, this place has a huge number of suns in the area. It looks like there are more suns here than planets. That can't be right. So that's a red dwarf, so that's uh, okay. And that has another sun orbiting it. Possibly another brown dwarf. Yeah. Okay, so that's a planet. That's shit. So is that. So the suns are all fairly close and the useless fucking uh, like rocks and what have you are further away. This place seems a bit arse backward. It would have if I didn't have the sun right over there so I can actually see what I'm looking at. That looks okay. I was gonna say it looks promising. Oh, well, that's way too far away, 72,000. I'm not going to bother going out there, so... There we go. I scanned four objects in this system. Uh, it's not bad. Fuel scoop disengaged. So there are at least five suns in this system. That's a bit crazy. I guess when you're flying out here... Well, it seems to be anything. Right, let's see what the next system has uh, in store for Free us. Ship drive charging. Standard red dwarf to me. Wants the servers catch up. Fuel scooping. Alright, how far is that away? Way too fucking far, I'm not gonna bother with that. Alright, so another red dwarf. Nothing particularly unusual about that. Fuel scooping complete. Fuel scooping. There's the old uh, nebula. Let's see. Uh, how detailed it is once uh, we get away from the light of the uh, 
star there. Well, there's no doubting we're getting closer to it. Mind you, I'm not actually heading towards it, I'm sort of flying around it. It's a shame really, I would have liked to actually flown into the thing and see what it uh, looks like from within. It don't look like I'm going in the right direction. Okay, what well, does this one have to offer then? And if it doesn't have anything, then I'll pause the video again and uh, we'll restart it when something does come along. Fucking come on. Well, it's not doing fuck all, so it's probably a fucking connection error again. So, uh, we'll pause this and, oh, at fucking last. As it is, it does look like it's just a bog standard red dwarf. And the server being like shit is really slow. So I'll pause the video now and uh, when something does come along, um, I'll restart it. Well, not a lot has happened uh, since the last... Uh, small uh, segment but we are now below 30 jumps 27 before we reach the UI Canis Majoris which means 671 systems visited now so there's no doubt about it I'll definitely uh, have reached over 700 by the time I get back to populated space. Right. Let's see what we have here. Let's see, the time is just coming up to our bar seven. Oh dear, I've missed the one show. Uh, well, it will be nice to get there before 9 o'clock, but that might be a bit uh, ambitious. There's 26 more jumps to go. And... Uh, Yeah, I think doing that in an hour and a half. Plus, of course, you never know what there's going to be in each of the systems. Is there anything worth exploring? I.e., are there any other suns? It looks like the answer is no, as far as this one is concerned. to uh, the next one. Fuel scoop disengaged.
frameshift drive charging. forcing us to play the game online all the time that they also decided to give us some pretty shitty servers and it's on Wednesday it's not you know a busy time why are the servers so fucking crap right anyway um don't think there's much here so uh I'll be back when uh, there's more. Right, we've got another uh, system with a second star very close to the main one. Looks like there are a few other stars out around here as well. Well, we've certainly got no problems with uh, scanning this one. That's too far, I can't be asked. And that one is a lot closer, 383. That one looks quite dim. So that will just be another brown dwarf, quite a small one. So I scanned three stars here. That'll do. shape of the old uh, nebula is changing somewhat. Must be the angle we're looking at it now. Well, I'm now getting further away from it. I'm going right past the thing. Friendship drive charging.
How many jumps to go now? 23. How far away is it? Let's take a look. Still a fair old way, 571, so it's uh, just over the distance between um, Antares and wherever I was when I started that trip. Cross 154, isn't it? Friendship drive. Oh, we're getting through it. Um, right, well, when it happens. Right, another update. Um, the number of jumps is well, almost down to single figures. Ten jumps to go. Now I have now been to 688 uh, systems. So VY Canis Rejoice will be the 698. Right, uh, more when it happens. Friendship drive charging. Right, well, here I am having just uh, found this uh, blue white star. Another one of those rather dim for blue white stars, but nevertheless, it is one. Uh, so, here we are at uh, column 132, sector EQ-XD1-16 and the uh, relevance of this is that the next system is the big one VY Canis Majoris so we are practically there the next uh, stop is the final destination. So, fuel scoop disengaged. What awaits us? Well, now 18.7 light years away, it's as bright as some of the stars that are you know, within the system you're in when you have to go about. 250,000 odd uh, light seconds and we're 18.7 light years away so it looks promising here we go Friendship drive charging. far away are we? We are 5,977 <laughs> light seconds away. Fuck it hell. Fuck it, 5,977. I did not think it was going to be that big. And that's that is more than twice the size of Beetlejuice. And there is another star in the area. 16,000 light years, or light seconds away. Well, since I'm here, I might as well, have, uh, you know, check them both out. I want to see if I can fuel scoop for this thing. I do need the fuel scoop. when you are, you know, well as near as damn it, 6,000 light seconds away, the chances are it's... Fuel okay, scooping. so I'm fuel scooping from it while I am still over 5,300 light seconds away from it. 
<laughs> it's certainly worth coming now, I'll give it that. Now I've got to fly around this fucking great thing so that I can get to the other star here. So I want to explore the other one. I might as well do them both while I'm here. Normally at 6,000 light seconds I wouldn't bother, but this was my, you know, final destination. The whole intention was to get out here. So now that I am here, I might as well scan everything, especially as it is only two things. And you're trying to fly past this fucking goat here. I seem to be uh, getting a bit too close. It's not like you can miss it. I still feel like shooting any of those fuckers on motorbikes outside. I've no idea how far away I am from it. I mean, looking at it there, it, it looks like I'm quite close, but no, I'm not at all close. And my fuel scoop's still fuel active. Scoop there you go, right on cue. So I'm now doing 115. Uh, C, and yet the star is still that fucking big. Quite the impressive sight, I must admit. This looks like being the faintest of uh, faint brown dwarf stars. I'm just checking the system map now. Yeah, here we are. So, you know, not surprising really that other people have been here already. So, old Mike BR. Uh, didn't actually spot the second uh, star in the system. So he's a great explorer. Two hundred light seconds away when the scan finally started. This is the dimmest of uh, brown dwarfs I've ever seen. So this place is certainly a uh, a system of contrasts. This is unquestionably the smallest and dimmest of any brown dwarf star I have found. And likewise, uh, the VY Canis Majoris A is uh, without doubt the biggest star I've seen. So I, it is the uh, biggest known star in the uh, 
in the Milky Way galaxy. So I'm now, or well, not even 1.5 light seconds away from it, and it's still that small. I've never seen a brown dwarf that small before. That's unreal. I'm more obsessed with this fucking thing than I am with the huge fucking great thing behind me. There you go. Canis Major B. Absolutely tiny. One pathetic little fucking thing. And then for just a bit of a contrast. Canis Majoris, it looks like that and I am 10,542 light seconds away from it. So I'm now twice as far from it as I was when I came in. Oh no, it's not quite twice as far. When it just filled the screen completely. That's quite an impressive system. I'm glad I came out here. It's a long old slog, that's for sure, but uh, I did it. I'm quite pleased with that. I consider that quite the achievement. So, uh, actually, let's first of all check here. So that is, yep, the 698th system I have visited. Now, <laughs> there's Nahat, 1,776 light years away. I've got to get back there somehow. Uh, I'll figure that out when I'm, when I can be bothered. I'm, I need a break. <laughs> So I'm going to uh, stop the video here and I'll actually I'll upload it now. I'm, oh, I'm bother waiting until I've done the return trip. So there you have it. Uh, Vy Canis Majoris. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's a fair trek to get here, but I think it's well worth it. And this is the view of. VY Canis Majoris when you are 10,463 light seconds away from it. And when you first arrive, you are significantly closer. And yet, you're still not far short of 6,000 light seconds away from the fucking thing. So there you go. Um, oh, I made it. So that's... Uh, Nahat to Rigel to Vy Canis Majoris done. So this is uh, Commander Lukosa signing off.